Oh, we got us a good one. A good one, guys. Oh my gosh. I was over here playing with my pliers. We got a good one. What is going on, boys and gills? So we ran into a special character today out here. Um, but we are at Wheeler Branch Park this morning. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go try to put a hurting on these big lip fat donkeys, you heard? So we got the truck locked up. <clears throat> we got everything on the kick, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and do our last checks or whatever. And then we're gonna get on the water. Today we're gonna be fishing a Ned rig, um, or we're starting out with a Ned rig, a frog and a jig. So uh, last time I was here, the Ned rig was what they were really wanting, but I kind of got some new things and I also want to try to play around play around with a jig because never had any luck doing it but yeah so without any further ado let's get after it and let's see what we can make shake So, we're out here today, we ran into Mr. Colton Bruning. Pretty nice dude, pretty chill dude. Um, so, one of his things is that he mainly fishes with uh, just uh, finesse stuff like BNS or, or, or BFS, my bad. BFS rods and reels and things like that. Pretty cool dude, y'all should check out his channel, guys. Looks like he's already on one. <laughs> so this could be a nice day guys this could be a real nice day he's already on one but he is using finesse techniques so cool that water tip is 74 degrees guys That was a big fish. He short struck it. He short struck it. That was a big fish. Oh boy. He got just the tail. That's all he got. So, because that happened, let's go ahead and... This bed boy's pretty worn out and the rattle don't work anymore. So we're gonna swap up to drop shot. There's a couple reasons for that. One, so I can get my bait to hang out in the quote unquote strike zone a little bit longer. And two, oh boy, it's just barely starting to mist. Oh boy. 
out and catching fish in these types of conditions. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna swap up for a couple reasons. One, so that way the bait will stay in the strike zone a little bit longer. Two, so I can fish it just a wee bit slower. So we're gonna select this weight. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use just a regular old Lane Jane wacky rig hook. Nothing special there. Where is she be? The Robo Worm, where is she be? We got us one, guys. We got us a good one, too. It feels good. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, no. Don't come off. Don't come off. The old tried and true robo worm, boys and gills. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Dang it. I was really hoping to get that worm back. No way I'm getting to it now. All right. Good things come to those who wait, right? Right, this is saying, right? We've been out here for an hour, an hour just grinding, and finally, we got us one. Let's get the pliers out right quick. There we go. So, there we go. First fish of the day. Not a monster, but hey. Hey, go. It's warm, warm, warm. Let's run us another one. That was on the wacky rigged Robo Worm. So, <laughs> let's see if that's just all we have to do is just wacky rig robo worms all day. I mean, that was almost on the fall. We're just going in fast. I think we're hung up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. So this is what we're fishing off of. Just this little rock island right here. That also leads me to believe if that boy hit it, guess what else is going to hit it? Some fishies over here. That was my first fish ever on a morning dawn color. I've never caught on morning dawn. But hey, there's the first time for everything, I reckon. Ooh, 
That's a fish. I thought that was a rock. That's a fish. It's a fat girl. She's a thick one. God. Lost my worm again. Man. Well, almost in the same spot. Come on now. Let me do it. She had some power in her, boy. Give myself some slack. There we go. Tick girl number two. Little bit bigger, little bit bigger. Get her gone. Bye. I'm guessing they're liking this little uh wacky rig. Robo worm. So if I got my worm still, yeah. Same cast. Ooh. We were on. Do it again. <laughs> oh, not what I was trying to do. But all right. Got him. Got him. Come on. Stay on, buddy. Yeah. He's a hard fight. Son of a gun. Come on, come on. See if we can keep our worm this time. Yes, sir. Fish number three. Yes, sir. Oh, don't drop the reel. I'll tell you what, man. Once you figure these fish out out here, they are just for the taking, my guy. He eating? Looks like he's eating crawfish. Hey, that's what you're eating, bud? So... I don't know how well y'all will be able to see it, but right down there, that's some antenna that he ate a little crawfish, it looks like. So, go on, buddy. All right. Now, let's see. They'll take it. Nose hooked. Just because I'm curious. Took me three casts on that one fish, but he hit it all three times. Oh, we got us a good one. A 
Good one, guys. Oh my gosh. I was over here playing with my pliers. We got a good one. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh my gosh. What in the world is this? Is that a bass? Or is that a giant catfish? I think we just caught a giant catfish on a drop shot robo worm, guys. And I got eight pound fluorocarbon, so I'm really just having to play. I'm pretty sure this is a catfish. God, look at it. Look at the power. If this is a bass, this is an absolute monster and a half. Oh my gosh. That is a huge catfish. Okay. <laughs> right in the mouth. We, we definitely caught him. A complete 100% legal catch. Okay. Well, I was not anticipating that, that's for sure. <sighs> A big old gale. Right inside of the mouth. Let's go ahead and get a picture for the gram. Look at this girl, guys. I mean, she's a a solid, solid fish. Let's go ahead and get the hook out, and then we'll get a video of the release. Yeah, I'm getting slime all over my leg. <sighs> all right. God. Should have got a weight on her. Oh, boy. She wasn't having it. Let's get back to what we was doing. I mean, surprise donkey. It wasn't the intended species, but we definitely got us... Uh, a nice catfish there that would have uh, definitely made quite a few golden crispies but uh, if it was right at the end of my fishing day or something like that then I might have kept that catfish no there's a snake right there but yeah since it's nowhere near towards the end of my day I'm still gonna be out here for another hour and a half I'm not going to keep them. Got him. Oh, what in the world? Okay, let's retry that because I think he just got the tail of the worm. I don't think he got the whole worm.
Yeah. We got us another fish. That quick. I mean, it's literally as it's hitting the water, man. Every time they're going insane for this thing. Ugh. Another thicky. Look at that one. Right there. Choked it, man. Not a one. How in the heck that happened? Yes, sir. So we gotta catch us another one. So I'm just curious about that rattling, Ned. I don't know if it's just the action of the worm that's getting these guys fired up. Or if it's the color. So we're gonna test by throwing the same color but something a little bit different mate We got another one. It's the color. It's the color. It's the color. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Ugh. Where'd my worm go? It's gone. <laughs> it's the color. A hundo P. It's the color. Another one. Another one. Another one. This one's looking a little bit healthier. Just a wee bit, guys. Let's see here. I'm going to have to dry off my screen a little bit. Now I'm all wet. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> I 
It's the color, guys. Yes, sir. So we can keep fishing for a little while because I got a couple more in Moaning Dong. <laughs> That's awesome. Simply a color change, guys. A color change. That's all that needed to happen today was a color change. I mean, it's crazy how much, like, just simply a color can affect your day fishing. You know, I was throwing a, a more natural color. And I mean, y'all see this water, it's clear. It's crazy clear. But just changing that color, that, that's all it took. I went from this color, which is a more natural color, to this, and started slaying them. I think we got us a fish, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come here. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good girl. Come here. I'm definitely getting a longer net because. Oh. Yes. Sir. In the infamous words of DJ Khaled, and another one. Look at that bad boy. I'm surprised I got my worm back. All righty. I didn't even get that on video. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Little whack. Hey. All right, boys and girls. So obviously we're not at Wheeler Branch Park. I wanted to wait a little bit till I got some stuff that came in and uh, met up with a guy on Facebook Marketplace and ended up picking up uh, quite a few more rods. So part of the reason that I'm doing that is because I'm gonna start doing some tournament fishing to bring some other content to the channel. And I've always wanted to fish tournaments, so I'm gonna be doing some of like the month long kayak tournaments. Sean and I are gonna be doing some working man tournaments and stuff like that whenever he's in town and I'm in on days off at the same time. But really wanted to try our hand at doing some tournament fishing and really I needed to replace a couple reels and rods and stuff because I've only been running on like two to three rods at a time. So part of the reason why I hit up the guy on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, so yeah. Ended up picking up a few more rods and reels, got a few more key specific rod setups and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely gonna be doing some KBF tournaments this year, as well as Sean and I plan doing some tournaments at like Whitney, Cleburne, Granbury, all that other stuff. So we'll be bringing some of that content to the channel, as well as the, I think it's gonna be the next video y'all see. We're gonna be taking off and doing two days at Aquila where we're gonna be really trying to target white bass and crappie, uh, as well as obviously we're gonna still be doing some bass fishing, but you know, just some stuff to come. 
also wanted to add on, I met Mr. Clinton while we were, or while I was at Wheeler Branch Park. He's a pretty cool cat. And I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description. Y'all go check him out. He does a lot of finesse fishing and uh, he uses this, this gear from a company called BFS. And they specialize in like really lightweight stuff. And I tell you what, finesse, some people don't like it because they find it boring or whatever, but finesse destroys Sally's, all right? Big thickens, finesse is the way to go. You will get more every single time. But he does really awesome stuff on his channel. I really encourage y'all guys to check out the link down below, check out his channel. But uh, without any further ado, guys, if you think I earned it, give me a like, comment, whatever you wanna see me do next, subscribe. One of the things that we're going to be doing next is Mr. Clinton and I are probably going to be meeting up. He wants to come out here and fish some of the Brazos with me. And uh, I'll probably be going to Fort Worth and doing some fishing with him up in the Fort Worth area. But, uh, yeah, you know, other than that, guys, get out there and make some memories.